Okay, for this reaction, we're going to be looking at limiting reactant stoichiometry today. And this one is at STP. And of course, STP stands for standard temperature and pressure. So we have an amount of butane reacting with oxygen here at STP. I, have to, I want to make a guess who's my limiter before I get started. I'm pretty confident um, the liters of oxygen will be our limiter. We need 13 amounts of oxygen for every two amounts of butane. So let's start with that. We're going to be looking at 46.6 liters of oxygen. So I'm going to start with that one there because I really think that's going to be it. So I'll say 46. Okay, 0.6 liters of oxygen. Okay, and I will times that then by the mole ratio uh, after I get it into moles. So times one mole of oxygen over 22.4 liters of oxygen and I'll times that by two moles of butane over 13 moles of oxygen and then times that by 22.4 liters of butane for one mole of butane. And that comes out to be then 2.59 liters. That of course is of our butane, C4H10. We need 2.5, we're given 34.5 liters of butane. So just as I suspected, our butane is our excess then oxygen is our limiter. So to find our carbon dioxide produced, I will be using the limiter, 46.6 uh, liters of oxygen, times up by one mole of oxygen over 22.4 liters of oxygen. I'll multiply that by eight moles of carbon dioxide over 13 moles of oxygen and times that by 22.4 liters of carbon dioxide over one mole of carbon dioxide. And that turns out to be 28.7 liters of carbon dioxide. So that's how you do limiting reactant stoichiometry for gases at STP.